Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, so this is a channel that has multiple uh, ways to get to it in case you have stumbled across a domain or a Google search or so forth and uh, you can various find ways to get to it. So if you go to, uh, for an example, if you go to, if you go to iosgenius.com, that will direct you to my YouTube channel. So and then if you were at, say, Google, and you wanted to know about Macs. So if you do macosgenius.com, that will also direct you to my YouTube channel or that specific playlist. You can also do jampgenius.com for anyone who's looking into MDM solutions for your iPads or your Mac devices. Uh, you can go there and do Jamp Genius. Uh, and then if you had any Google questions or so forth for your Google Docs or Google Classroom, I will be creating and taking my certification class for Google. And uh, that you can go to where? Where would you go? Come on, you guys know the answer. GoogleGenius.com. And then that will direct you to my YouTube channel as well. There are actually multiple domains out there that I own. Uh, it just gets you easier to my site. So now if you actually drove and rode a Segway, you can go to SegwayGenius.com. That will take you here. Or, you know, that would actually take you to my Facebook page. Uh, the wallpaper I'm kind of redoing here. But, yeah, you can do that. Or you can do Segway, uh, what is it? Uh, SegwaySupport.com. And that actually goes to my Segway Life uh, YouTube channel uh, with the playlist as well as my other channels. You can visit under videos. So feel free to go ahead and subscribe uh, and enjoy my videos. Put in your comments. Definitely comments help. I do respond quite promptly within at least two-day time frame or less. Uh, and if you're putting comments on how to do this, how to do that, and so forth, uh, in the general public of computers, networking, switches, or anything else that is out there. So this is an all-around channel. Feel free to put your comments, put your likes, hit subscribe. That definitely helps. Selecting the bell even helps better so you know once I make a video, boom, it's right there ready for you to get updated information. All right, well, thanks for visiting, and uh, onward. All right, everybody, so today I was just going to go through and uh, update my JSS with the PUSH certification. Uh, certification, sorry, certificate. Uh, I would like to screen share my phone that's going to go through part of this process, except that phone is a, an old design flip phone. Yes, those flip phones, you know what they look like, uh, old back in the days and so forth. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open Safari here, log into my JSS right down here, log in here, and then you can do it two ways. Top center, notifications, push notification certificate expired, select this, it takes you right to it. Or, so that's one, two steps, or you can go to settings if you're going to do it prior to the expiration. Uh, when you go to your settings, you go right down here or global management and it says push certificates you want to select on that here you want to select on the push notification uh, certificate touch that and then right here you want to select on renew so there I hit one two three this is like four steps where here in notifications is just two steps so we'll hit renew here same screen same options so you pretty much want to just do the top one the second one, you can download it as well, but uh, you would have to have it signed later by Jamp Nation. You don't really want to do that. You might as well just get Jamp Nation to sign it now, get it over with, so instead of you doing a few extra more steps. The upload push certificate is something a little different. That's uh, if you're going to be doing this uh, download and sign later, then you can go ahead and upload this later, and then that's part of that. Uh, the proxy server token, uh, most of them do come down as a token as it is. Uh, proxy, basically, if you're going to be pointing to some other specific server, not in general. So my hosting with JSS, Casper, Jamf Pro, Jamf Now, uh, the JSS suite, um, our hosting is with through them directly, and it is on a dedicated host. If it was on a shared host, uh, you still need to do this even though it's a dedicated or shared or if you have an independent which you host it yourself you still have to do this so either way uh, this is the best way to do it download sign CSR and Jap Nation 
So you want to select on next. Now you're going to have to enter the credentials of the account that you are that has admin that has full access. Uh, the enrollment can't do it. The custom may be able to do it if the option is selected. And auditor won't be able to do it because they only oversee. Uh, but now understand this is Jam Nation credentials. This is not JSS credentials. It used to be the JSS credentials, uh, and now it isn't. So I I have the same username, but I have a different password. So we're going to try that that different password, and you're going to see it's going to come in invalid incorrect username. If you wanted to make sure that this is the correct username password is that you would go to actually Jam Nation, which I probably would advise them to do is would be great if it has an option here incorrect username password but it says forgot password or uh, validate link through Jam Nation. So through that you want to go ahead and go to your Jam Nation and then by doing that you want to go to Jam Nation you want to log in here. We're using the account that you log in with your Jam Nation. So my account is the same as the username as it is in the JSS, but it is actually a different password. So my password for the JSS starts with an M. Oh, you can't even see the letters. Um, so it starts with an M, and my other password starts with a one. So let's see which one is this one and then that's the password I got to use. So let me see, is it that one? I think so, it's taking a little longer. Yes, it is. So if you would, you would go here. Now, my iOS Genius that I logged into the JSS is one password. The JSS to get to credentials is through that Jam Nation website that I just went, and that password that I used there allow me to log in. So you would have to enter that password. You can put technically the Jam Nation and the JSS to be the same password, but then now if someone figures out your password, now they can download credentials, they can upload credentials, they can kind of do a little bit more nasty stuff. So you want to select on next. There you go. Now it should download a file to my downloads as you just saw a moment ago. So basically the signed CSR from Jam is signed and it's approved by JSS. Now I'm going to have to download it, which it's already been downloaded, it's right here. Now I'm going to have to do is go to my uh, account with Apple and upload it to tell Apple, yes, here's the MDM solution I'm using and I need a new token from Apple to authorize JSS, which and then I'll upload here, to authorize to push notifications. So the push notifications as we normally turn off on our phones, uh, the little pop-up that comes up on your phone, hey, uh, Twitter alert, hey, Facebook alert, so forth, those are your push notifications. Uh, same thing as your, uh, your email, when you, once you open your email, uh, all the emails come down, if you have it set as manually. If you have it set as automatic, then they'll just pop up on your lock screen. So basically that's what I'm kind of doing here. So what you're going to need to do once you hit next, it says use the following steps for the APN certificate in Apple. So you want to select on that, takes you to the Apple site. You want to make sure you have your Apple login. This is not your, this is not my iOS Genius. This is not my Apple at iOS Genius. Uh, it is not my work email, which is D Fernandez. Uh, it is an actual independent email from your VPP accounts, from your JSS, so forth. So this is my DEP, uh, no, it's device enrollment, there it is. And then I'll select this. These are my saves, passwords through Safari on a Mac, through, through my keychain, and then I sign in. Now it says, okay, it's gonna send a text for verification to a phone number in 67. So I have the phone right next to me, which is the flip phone. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and select continue. Now I should get a text. And there we go, new text. Uh, see, I'm, I'm familiar with a touch screen. This is not a touch screen. So let's see, view now, view now. All right, there's my code. Continue. Great, wonderful. So now here you wanna create a certificate. So the certificate you're going to create is through the Apple push notifications. Uh, certificates, my apologies. 
So you want to go ahead and create a new one. So you're just going to go ahead and create. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, again, I don't really read this, but you know, I'm sure it's very important information. Now it says upload certificate signing request signed by your third party server, which is our MDM solution. So basically you can either put the notes in here, what it is, why, and so forth. But as you put notes, it's going to actually may delay the issue longer. Uh, so you kind of want to just, if you have the upload file, just select choose file, go to your downloads. There's a CSR, choose, and then give it a second and just upload. You don't have to really give it a second. Uh, it's a very tiny file and upload, uploading. Hey, it's been done. Great. So forth, etc. The following information. This is the following information. We're just going to go ahead and make a screenshot of this just for reference keeping. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then you can do manage certificates if you wanted to. So if you had multiple MDM solutions out there, uh, then these will connect to them and so forth. So like if I was using, which I am using Champ, uh, but what if I was using AirWatch as well, maybe for other devices, this is authorizing that and so forth. But you need to download that file directly from that MDM solution. You can't use JSS uh, CSR um, authentication because then it's going to say, hey, you have another J JSS account, but you really don't. Okay, so we've already done that. So we want to go ahead and select on, uh, it's already expiration is a 2018. You don't want to renew it. You just want to go ahead and download it. We're going to download it. It goes back to my downloads folder. You see a little certificate icon here, and that basically means uh, Apple is authorizing Jamf to do push notifications as well as uh, uh, not, not be besides notification, but pushing the app to the device and so forth. So now you want to go back to your JSS, which is right here. Uh, so basically right here, renew, certificate, okay. When prompted, read, yeah, we done that. Choose the file, upload, we've done that. Click download to download the certificate, which we've already downloaded. And the certificate's right here, this little uh, blue box. Um, and then what you do is you'll just go ahead and click on next. And it says, oh, really? You wanted to go ahead and upload a push surf certificate? You'd be like, yes. And then you select on choose file. You want to find the one that you just downloaded, which is not the Jamp signed CSR. That's the one you upload it. This is the one, the MDM that's authorized by Apple. You want to select on that. Select on choose. Give it a second. Should be done. It says, warning, your new push uh, notification certificate has a new topic. Uh, existing and new. Uh, so this is pretty much what you have to do every year with your uh, MDM solution, if you do have one. And then you want to select on next to verify. It's been verified. And then uh, from this point, you're pretty much done from that. So now that notification, now if I hit done on here, you see the notification in the top center? I do not have one. Uh, if I go into my settings, go into push certificates, if I go to notification certificate, it shows me the new expiration date. So I'll put this in my calendar so I know what's going on for next time. All right, well, that's pretty much it that I have for you on the JSS and how to upload your new push certificate. If you do not know what your uh, Apple push certificate portal email is, um, there's really kind of one way to find out about it. And that is by not going through here, certificate does not tell you here. You could call Apple Education Support, provide them this serial number. They may be able to pull it up for you. For me, they were not able to, and it did take like three, four days long. So I wanted to do this like kind of right away. So uh, what you do is you go into your settings. From your settings, you want to go ahead to uh, right here, device enrollment program if you're under the DEP for your devices. So if your devices are virtually purchased directly from Apple with your school education or company account, so there's some record that Apple has and you have uh, and they match, uh, you can use DEP. You know, change your uh, managed distribution for your pushed apps to a DEP process, a device enrollment program. So you're enrolling the device to your company organization, et cetera. So then you'll just go ahead and select this. In here, base, basically tells you how many devices you have, how many computers you have assigned, and then you select on Casper iOS Genius. 
Now, anyone who creates this account from scratch, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, dog at uh, school education or, or stallions at school education or whatever it is or any acronym you want to use. But understand that um, this is only used or like repairing uh, a mechanical device or so forth. Then in that area, you'll be able to do that. So you want to go ahead and select on Casper. Uh, from Casper, you want to scroll down here a little bit. You can see this is my Berkeley School District. I'm on 87. My email that I log in with my Apple certificate is this one here. So that's the email that I found out as I did not know. Uh, well, I did know there was an Apple, email, Apple ID email for that site, but I did not recall it since it was about a year ago. So I'm going to go ahead and put notes down now so I know that in the future sense. So this is the email. If you don't recall the password, just select forgot password and you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and hit done. We're going to go back and re-verify through the push certificates and your push notification certificate. And then that's my expiration date. So now all my iPads will get push notifications uh, for certificates for all their devices. And that is totally awesome. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Uh, feel free to visit my site. You can go to jampgenius.com. And that will take, take you to my YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel will have that playlist of the uh, products available for JSS as well as MDM solutions, uh, how to do how-tos and so forth. So if you like this video, select yes uh, on the check mark. Not yes, actually the, the thumbs up. And then feel free to select on subscribe. Select that bell right next to it, which basically just says, hey, you know what? We like your videos. Wonderful. I want to get notified all the time. And that's definitely helpful. All right. Well, thanks uh, for watching and have a great day.